All right, this is fair use. This is for fair use. Um, shalom, shalom. I want to start off by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rikaku Chodash Laiwanam Yum. Double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect, the ones out there who are doing this work diligently and chiefly keeping the faith, making your calling and your election sure. I'm going to get right into it. Um, as you can see, I got this article pulled up. It says uh, three Cleveland houses catch fire overnight, likely due to fireworks. It says uh, the Cleveland Division of Fire is investigating the house fire it believes was caused by fireworks set off in a Cleveland neighborhood on the 4th of July, displacing multiple residents. Okay, so a lot of people lost their houses, man. You know, it said multiple, so I'm assuming it's more than one, right? Three houses, typically a family being each of those homes. So, yeah, man, over probably over six or seven people lost their homes, man. Let me uh put this on here. Do not disturb, right? So, um, yeah, this article caught my eye. Um, it shows you how detrimental, you know, uh, doing these for, uh, doing these fireworks are. Like, for example, you know, you have kids losing their hands. You have adults losing fingers and hands and things like that, all for the sake of uh, um, the independence of of America. Okay. And, uh, you know, Jake don't supposed to be doing that, man. Now, I don't know if these people who lost their houses were Israelites or not. I don't know that. But what I do know is, you know, uh, fireworks can be harmful, you know, if you um, if you don't know how to use them correctly. You know, it says uh, Cleveland Fire Companies were called to the uh, 12... 12,200 block of uh, Asaleola, I believe, Avenue at uh, 424 a.m., finding a fully involved fire spreading to the two neighboring properties. You know, because they have fire like to spread. And it says, well, fully involved. So that means that um, if, if it was somebody inside of that house, and the the fire became fully involved, more than likely they're dead, you know. <clears throat> but I, I didn't see any news about anybody being dead inside the house. I do know that the properties was lost due to the fire. Uh, it says nine companies and over 40 firefighters were called to the scene. So, yeah, this was a big fire. OK, over 40 firefighters called to the scene, nine companies. So, you know, the cities had to gather together to stop this fire, man, from spreading to the opposite houses, too, as well. You know, because fire, when it burns, it burns hot, you know, and, and it spreads. Anything that breathes oxygen is alive, man. And, and foxygen requires oxygen to live. So, you know, uh, that fire be breathing, man, and spreading and destroying all in its wake. In the initial house, fortunately, everybody was able to get out of the house, out of the structure. Public Information Officer Lieutenant Mike Norman said, We had no injuries, had one minor injury to a firefighter, but he was just treated. He didn't even go to the hospital, but there was a lot of damage. Right, there was a lot of house damage, you can see in the picture there. Okay, it says, um, it says, um, Continuing on, Norman said the fire started slowly on the second floor porch, most likely debris from fireworks. Yeah. It says the fire caused extensive damage, totaling nearly 300,000 between three homes, between the three homes, two of which are no longer able to be occupied. All three homes were occupied and multiple people are now displaced. That's crazy. The American Red Cross was called to assist, Norman said. We had two adults and a child that were displaced from that fire. An adult male from the second floor of the uh, initial firehouse is un unaccounted for. He disappeared, but multiple search attempts were made, and it is possible he was not home at the time of the incident. Wow. 
So, wow, that's crazy. You know? One of the affected homeowners is beyond frustrated by the incident, causing so much damage by careless actions. All they worry about is fireworks. They don't worry about the residential people. Uh, Mar- uh, Marquette Lewis said. You see, so these Jake, man, you know, they're destroying neighborhoods, man. You know, these people destroying neighborhoods in the sake of, you know, the 4th of July, right? And we're, we're here in the aftermath, okay? You know, we knew here at GMS that, um, you know, it was going to be a lot of destruction, you know, it was going to be a lot of deaths. You got people dying, mass shootings in Chicago. Like, you know, the Lord is putting putting things in action, right? Prophecy is taking place. Let's get a few precepts real quick. It's not going to be no long lesson. But, you know, the, the Lord is the one that's doing all these things, man. All right? And uh, a precept that comes to mind, just to prove it, this is uh, Sirach chapter 11 and verse 14. It says prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come from the Lord. So right now, these people who who are displaced from their homes, they're going through a, a, a time of adversity right now. This happened, you know, uh, uh, this happened quickly. This didn't, you know, uh, they didn't expect this, you know. Who, the guy who's still missing you know, who who wasn't at home, he probably trying to go home right now. It's like, what is it, 11.56 p.m. right now? So more than likely, he'll, he'll want to be at home right now, but he can't, right? He don't have a home, you know? In verse 15, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the law are of the Lord. Love and the way of good works are from him. You see, so the Lord is the one who who issues judgment, especially the judgment concerning death, right? You know, all of these things that's taking place, kind of like this example, is all from the Lord, man. And people don't want to see that, you know? It's judgment. Okay? Being in a lower state, hey. The Lord will put you there, man, to humble you. But I guarantee they won't even probably consider that. You know, that it's the Lord that's humbling them. Be, uh, because, you know, Jake be thinking that, you know, it's all about prosperity. No, nah, it's not all about that at this moment in time. The Lord will put you in a balance, right? Sometimes you got to go through hardship. Sometimes you're going to be up. You're going to be in prosperity. Then sometimes you're going to be down. You know, the Lord is a balanced power, man. Okay. They're not even thinking about the Lord, probably. That's why the Lord over there. But enacting judgment, sending his people. This is Job chapter 4. And this is not the only thing that happened during the 4th of July, man. A lot of death took place. It was a, a the Lord sent out spirits, man, to, you know, to, to do his bidding and put people to death, man. You know? There's several accounts and several stories that's coming up. You know, I'm pretty sure other brothers going to hit other stories. You know that what happened? You know, they're going to go into what happened on the 4th of July and things like that. But, you know, this is uh, Job chapter 4 and verse 7. It says, remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent or where was the righteous cut off? So whoever perished being innocent, man. All right. No one, you know. So when you see death happen, you know that what it's the Lord who's doing proper judgment. All right, the scriptures let us know that the Lord is in the heavens. He do what he please, man. Okay? So right here, these the these houses burning down, hey, man, that was pleasing in the sight of the Lord. This is Psalms 115 and verse 3. But our God is in the heavens. He have done whatsoever he have pleased. You see? Um... um uh, let me see here. You know, the Lord do what he please, man. Okay. And I, and I, you know, I pray those people, you know, if they're Israelites, I pray they repent. I pray they turn from their wickedness and, and, and burn no incense unto other gods. I pray they, you know, they listen and, and take this on their chin as the Lord, you know, roughing them up, chastising them. Because anybody could easily be in this situation, man. 
you know. This is Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. You see? <laughs> the Lord don't play no games, man. All right, judgment is taking place, and the best way to be protected from the judgment is repenting to the Lord in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Right? That's the best way to overcome the destruction that's coming out here. Okay, the Lord told us that, right? Yahweh Shai told us that in Matthew chapter 4 and verse 17. From that time, Yahweh Shai, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus, began to preach and to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right? You got to repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Here's another one. This is Luke chapter 13 and verse 3. You see it's in red. This is the voice of Yahweh Shai. Okay? It says, I tell you nay, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Right? You go into that word perish, it means to die. This is uh, Luke chapter 13 and verse uh, 5. It says, I tell you nay, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. In verse 3, it says the same thing. I tell you nay, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. So the Lord really, you know, the Lord is very big on repenting. If you don't do that, man, you're going to find yourself out there, you know, without the protection of the Lord, man. And a destruction can come upon you and take you up out your household just like these people, you know. So, hey, man, this is not going to be no long lesson. It was just a little quick hit. Um, Shalom, Yasharala, you know. I want to end it by giving double honors once again to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Shalom, once again to the elect. Hey, man, don't let your sins weigh you down. Don't let your iniquities lift up themselves. That's what they want to do. It's our job to repent and keep it moving through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom, on to the next one.